listening activity 2 knowing many languages has its own advantages it helps one travel from place to place and understand people and their culture those who know only their own language often face difficulties when they visit places and fail to interact with people who speak a different language this lands them in a jam it may also result in an unexpected funny mix up here is one such experience listen to the story the great truth this is the story of a german traveler who arrived at a great truth by error this gentleman arrived at amsterdam during the course of his journey he went round the city and was deeply impressed by its beautiful buildings and busy people he saw a house larger and more beautiful than any he had ever seen during all his travels for a long time he gazed in wonder at the expensive building finally he addressed a passer by excuse me he said can you tell me the name of the gentleman who owns this beautiful house with the windows full of all kinds of flowers but the man who probably had something more important to attend to and understood as little german as the questioner did dutch replied can it was tan and went away this is a dutch word and means no more than i cannot understand you but the traveler thought it to be the name of the owner of the grand building he must be a mighty rich man that mr canet wastan he said to himself and walked away walking through the narrow streets of the town he came to the harbor there were many ships in the harbor and he had never seen so many of them in his life his eyes fell on a large merchant ship that was being unloaded the cargo consisted of all kinds of wares from distant lands after he had washed for a long time he asked a man who was carrying a crate on his shoulders the name of the person for whom the ship had brought all these wares can it were stan was the answer then he thought so that's how it is if the ships bring him such riches no wonder he can build houses with potted flowers in the windows so he went away thinking how poor a man he was among so many rich people in this world but just as he was thinking i wish i too could be as well off as this mr canet wastan some day he saw a grand funeral procession in the street white horses were pulling a black carriage slowly as though they were aware that they were carrying a dead man to his grave a large number of friends and acquaintances of the dead man followed silently our stranger remained standing in respect with his hat in his hand until the last man in the procession had passed by then he asked the last mourner in a low voice the dead man whose funeral you are going to attend must have been a good friend of yours who was he can it was stan was the answer a few large tears tumbled down from the eyes of our traveler and he felt sad and relieved at once poor canet wastan he exclaimed what now remains of all your riches exactly what i shall get one day from my poverty a linen shroud 
and of all your beautiful flowers you have perhaps a rose on your cold breast. With these thoughts he accompanied the funeral procession to the grave as though he belonged to it. He saw the supposed Mr. Canet Burstan being lowered in his final resting place. He left with the others and went away with a light heart. At an inn where German was understood, he ate his dinner. Whenever afterwards his heart became heavy, because so many people in this world were rich and he was poor, he only thought of Mr. Canetworth Stan of Amsterdam, of his big house, his merchant ship and his narrow grave. <laughs>